Hey fellow history enthusiasts, it's March 26th, all day, and these historical events occurred on March 26th, this date in history. In 1790, the U.S. Congress passes the Naturalization Act requiring a two-year residency. In 1804, the Congress orders removal of Indians east of Mississippi to Louisiana. In 1849, a patent is awarded for an adhesive medical plaster, the precursor of Band-Aids. Hey, it's summer. You should be handing those out by the, like the tons. Hey, for all you heathens out there that still burn your dead, in 1885, the first modern legal cremation was held in England at Woking, Surrey. In 1910, the U.S. forbids immigration to criminals anti... I can't almost say antichrist. <laughs> yeah, Yeah, we weren't letting the antichrist in. Or so some people think. In 1910, the U.S. forbids immigration to criminals, anarchists, paupers, and the sick. I guess that's not how immigration's supposed to work. In 1945, the Allies, led by the U.S. Marine Corps, secure the island of Iwo Jima from Imperial Japanese after 18,000 Japanese and 6,000 Americans are killed in that particular battle. Man, that makes me proud. Uh, Go Marines, hoorah! A few years later in 1966, these people, a large-scale anti-Vietnam War protest takes place in the United States, including cities like New York, Washington, D.C., and Chicago. You know, places where you can gather a lot of unemployable people. More importantly, on this date in 1966, two very useful people got married and stayed married and are still married. Wow, imagine that. As goes the family, goes the nation. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. I'm so proud of you, and thank you very much. By the way, those uh, shoes my father's wearing, same shoes I got married in. Still married, too. Must be the shoes. Hey, I'm all about this. In 1973, a TV soap opera called, wait for it, The Young and the Restless, premieres on CBS. And I am a massive Jack fan. Sorry, Victor. Jack rules. In 1982, the groundbreaking in Washington, D.C. for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial is held. If you haven't seen it, you really do need to see it. It is quite the experience. Hey, speaking of crematories, if you can't afford a crematory, you get this guy. In 1999, a jury finds Michigan doctor Jack Kevorkian guilty of second-degree murder for administering a lethal injection to a terminally ill man. I think my tongue's terminally ill. Does he have a license to kill the ill? Sorry, too soon? Well, you won't kill any brain cells here because when it comes to a battle of wits, you'll have the victory when you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe, plus check out the comments for even more March 26th history.